What's good YouTube, it's Jay here, and I've been seeing consistent, consistent comments on different, um, what is it, Reddit, or, yeah, uh, Discord threads asking how to install the most basic form of, um, Empire War mod. So, for this part, I'll be doing the GLG version, it's really straightforward, it's really simple, um, if you have the GLG or the disc version, it's pretty much the exact same process. Um, I'm not going to go into any high amounts of aggressive detail because, frankly, there isn't that much to really cover. So, we'll just quickly kind of run through. So, obviously, you have to have the game, or the GLG version of the game installed already. I have mines on my gaming SSD. And, uh, so, here, you'll just go from GLG games, Star Wars Empire War Gold, to... Well, if you're doing Empire War, by all means, I mean, you just make a... Don't do Empire War. There's no point. There's no support for it anymore. But um, anyway, so you go to your Empire War Gold folder, and you go to EAWX, and then you just literally just make a new folder. I just do Control Shift N uh, Mods, and then you hit Enter, and bada bing, bada boom, you've got your mods folder already done. I've already got one made, so I won't make a new one. Um, <clears throat> so in, my, in this mods folder, I only have Empire War Remake installed for the GOG version. Just because of the fact that every other mod for Empire War is on Steam already. So, there's really no point to download the GLG versions or any other versions of those mods. Because the Steam version just is less clunky, there are less crashing issues, you know, all that rigmarole. Um, so, when it comes to downloading an actual version of a mod, you're, wanna, you're gonna want to go to you know, any standard mod page. Let's say... Yeah, we'll just go back here. Um... Well, yeah, we'll go here. So, what you're gonna want to do is obviously go to your files of whatever mod you want to download. Uh, so we'll go like right here for remake light. You know, you hit your downloads. I'm not gonna actually really re-download the entire thing because there's no point in doing that. Then you know you save it to your downloads folder, wherever you people save your your favorite you know files and whatnot. And then you go to that set folder. So we're gonna go to mines. I have, uh, let's see, I have Legacy Mod downloaded right here. So I'm just gonna open it up. It's a zip folder. It's always gonna be in a zip folder in most cases. So you're gonna wanna open that up. Um, excuse the, the, the mess I've got going here, by the way. But yeah, you know what? You're gonna wanna open that zip folder up, and you just take whatever mod you have there. And this is the easiest part. This is where it gets super insanely easy. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take the mod of where you have it right here, either you know. Do a copy, control C if you don't know your keyboard commands uh, in 2019. Then you go over to, you know, wherever you have Empire War at and the mods folder. Mods, you know, you can just hit paste. And you can copy paste from a zip folder. No, you cannot. <laughs> Let's just open up a new folder right quick. So. Yeah, so you open up your zip folder, you just drag and drop it right there, and boom, it'll just transfer over. Once it finishes transferring over, this is the only way I personally launch my mods. Uh, you can either make a shortcut, and in most cases, you know, a mod will come with a said shortcut that you can just change its, um, you know, its properties under. Remake has an installation guide for that that I personally never have not looked at because I don't use shortcuts. I actually use a launcher, which I'll show off in just a second. But I believe you can just go to properties, edit it, and then, uh, oops, let me see where did that go. So you just go to properties, then you select the options, you just select properties, and then uh, it should already have it pre-set up. But what you're gonna want in the target area is basically this long mess of a title. So, let's see, mod path. So yeah, you're gonna want everything here for any other for any other mod, you're gonna want this entire thing. I'll put that in the, you know, the video description, or I'll put it on screen. You're gonna want this entire thing before the words uh, remake, or Empire War remake light. So this entire other thing is what you're gonna need for mods in order to actually function, followed by the mod name with a forward slash. Uh, so yeah, like I said, at the very end here we have EAW Remake Light. 
and the start end is just basically where the game is pretty much just leave this be you don't have to mess with that so i'm gonna do a separate thing for steam because i personally don't manually install steam mods and i'm gonna have to basically refresh myself with that but as for the launcher that i use i use this handy dandy uh, thing called EAW Launcher. I'll post a link in the description below for where I found this launcher at. But I personally have to run it as admin because my security software is brutal. But yeah, if you run it in um, admin mode, it'll allow you just to launch mods directly from here. You can just hit play mod from there and you'll be able to play the mod uh, that you have in the mods folder. So I know that description was. Might have been a little chunky here and there, but that's pretty much as straightforward as it gets. Download mod, move mod from its zip folder to mods folder in the games, uh, in the Empire of War Force of Corruption folder. Make sure you don't put it in data or any of the other folders, it won't work. Make sure the mods folder is in the exact same folder that data is in and launcher is in the executable, rather. And uh, yeah, it's really, really straightforward. But hey, if you have any questions for me, Please leave them below. Otherwise, thank you for watching this video. May the force be with you all. Peace.